it's Mrs. Williams, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the criteria and constraints for the Vex IQ Robotics game Rise Above. However, it doesn't really matter what game you're playing and what season this is, what I'm about to share with you helps you find criteria and constraints in any game manual. Okay, so let's start by talking about what are criteria and constraints. A criteria or criteria are the requirements that a robot must meet to be successful at playing the game. The criteria answers the question, what must the robot be able to do? Constraints are the limitations that are placed on a robot. The constraints answer the questions such as, what are the limitations of the game and what are the limitations of the robot? So the boundaries that are placed on your robot and the game. Now all of the criteria and constraints can be found in the game manual, which is uploaded each season to the VEX IQ and VEX EDR Robotics websites. You can see the game manual is this link in the center, but I'm going to go ahead and show you and scroll through a game manual with you right now. So now I'm going to take you through the game manual so you can see where the criteria and constraints can be found. I'm going to use the VEX IQ Rise Above game manual for the 2020-2021 year, but any game manual has the same layout, so let's take a look at what's inside. First of all, you will see the table of contents. So there's three main parts of the game manual, the game and the description of the game, the robot and the rules for the robot and the tournament. So there will be some criteria and constraints possibly in the tournament, but probably section three, we're not really going to find many criteria and constraints. You'll find the most in section one and section two. So if I go to section one, now I put in red to find the problem. That is not normally in the game manual, but where the game description is located is where you really are gonna be able to find what to put into your problem statement. So here we have this last row right here, or this last sentence. The object of the game is to attain the highest score by scoring and stacking risers and goals, completing rows, and completing stacks. That is really the problem of the game. You are trying to create stacks of risers and rows, all of the same color. So your problem statement is really going to come from that sentence. Now you can also talk about the fact that there is a teamwork challenge or a robot skills challenge. That is also a part of the game. Teamwork challenge in Vex IQ, the teams work together in an alliance. And in the VEX EDR, you have four teams, two alliances opposing one another. And then robot skills, this is an optional part of a tournament. It's a second competition to see how many points you can score, whether you are driving for the time limit or you are doing autonomous coding and you strictly program the robot to move and score points without your driving. Those can also be included in your definition of the problem if you would like to put them there. Remember, everybody's notebook is gonna look a little bit different. You may also want to include a picture of the field, or as you can see in the next page, you can see the field layout, including the starting positions and where the risers uh, begin at the very start of the game. Now, the starting positions are a constraint because you must begin in that starting position. It's a limitation. Um, but this is going to be repeated again later in the manual, so we're not going to write it down just yet. This probably would support your definition of the problem or your problem statement if you wanted to cut out and paste a picture of the game setup in your notebook. Here's another um, uh, setup for the robot skills match. So it looks like it's a little bit different than the teamwork challenge. Okay, so here we have game definitions. This is really where you're gonna start finding some criteria. Because remember, criteria is how you build a successful robot to play the game. So what would you need to have to have a successful robot to score some points? So the first thing you will see here is that a completed row is are three of the same colored risers. So one of your criteria is that you are trying to place three of the same colors in a row. That's criteria to play the game. The second criteria listed here would be how to make a completed stack. You have three of the same colors stacked on top of one another. So that would be criteria as well, having three risers stacked. 
I'm sure there's some more in here you can look through, but these are definitions to really explain all the different terms that you will find in the game manual, including a goal, which is this blue zone right here. You have to stack your risers inside of this goal. And um, you can see here that I have found a constraint when the matches were described because the driver controlled period and the autonomous period are both 60 seconds long. So this would be a constraint. It's a limit for how long you get to drive in order to score points. So then um, you, I'm going to scroll a little bit more. You will see criteria I have found here in the, where we're talking about how to score. So in order to score, the riser must be found within the goal touching the floor. It cannot be up on the blue edge a little bit. So contacting the floor within the goal would be a criteria because that's what you need to do to play the game successfully. Here would be more criteria. The risers need to be upright. You can't have a riser that's turned on its side. That would be a criteria. You must do that to play the game successfully. Now here's a constraint. Uh, the starting position. I had mentioned that already. There is a designated 11 inch by 19 inch starting position. There are two, one for each robot, and you must start in that position. So that is my first constraint I'm gonna write down that you must start in the starting position. I'm going to scroll through a little bit more and let's see what we got. Um, I know there's probably a few more hiding in there, but a lot of this is just explaining the game, definitions, some rules, um, that robots must be placed on the field promptly. These are some things that you need to know when you go to a tournament, but not necessarily when you are building your robot. So they're not criteria and constraints for your robot. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. looks like we're still talking some rules, be prepared to play. Um, they, this is going to come up once again. This is talking about switching the controllers at the 30 second mark. I did mark that a little bit later down. So I'm going to keep scrolling to another one that I have highlighted. All right. Section two, the robot. This is really where you're going to find a lot of your constraints, the limitations you have on building a robot. So here we have, we're talking about the three subsystems. They're defining what the subsystems um, are composed of. And the reason they do that is because you are only allowed to have one robot per team. And I didn't highlight that, but that is definitely a constraint right here. Only one robot will be allowed to participate per team. That is a constraint. So you can scroll through and find a few more on your own. I didn't highlight um, any more, but there are many more that you can find. Oh, here's one that I highlighted. Starting configuration. Your robot must begin with and fit within the starting position of 11 inches by 19 inches, and it may not be taller than 15 inches. Now, once you start the game, you can expand from this starting position, and that changes from year to year, so make sure you read the rules very closely. But that is definitely a constraint, the starting size of your robot. Here's another constraint. Robots may be built only from official robot components from Vex IQ. So you may only have functional parts that come from Vex IQ. There is another um, constraint, or I guess this would be criteria, um, because you it's not, I, no, it's a constraint. It's a limitation. Appropriate non-functional decorations um, you can decorate, but they have to be non-functional. So yes, you're allowed to have decorations, not necessary to be successful. So that's why it's not a criteria. But it is a constraint that they may not be functional in any ways. Here's some more constraints. Motors. You may only use six motors. That is a limitation, so it's a constraint. You're only allowed one battery. That is a constraint because it's a limitation. Parts may not be modified. That is a constraint. You cannot glue or cut or saw the beams in half in VEX IQ. You can in VEX CDR. So what you'll have to do is go through the game manual very closely and look at can you find rules or different um, definitions that talk about the limitations or what it takes to do well in this game, how to score points. Those would be your criteria and constraints. So I hope this is helpful, and I'm going to show you a quick list of criteria and constraints that I've um, posted or found in the, from this game manual. All right, I hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.